if you are offended by the mocking of stupid people, you are not going to like this video. All right, let's have a little fun here. Uh, I made a uh, a cheeky little uh, propaganda thing on Quora and got a response already. And so I figured, hey, let's let's chat about it and go over it a little bit. So this is what I wrote, uh, or the question that I asked, has anyone rationally argued against the saying, taxation is theft, question mark? And then in parentheses, as of 2022, it had not been done. Well, um, a... Young man, I'm not going to say his name out loud. I don't want to embarrass him. He's probably, uh, I'm guessing, a university student. I, and I mean, he's not. I shouldn't say that. That's not very nice. Um, he could be a smart guy, but he he made a, a reply. He answered. He said, "I've done it more than once." The first argument I would put forward that the phrase itself is plagiarized from the older socialist statement, "Property is theft." which makes slightly more sense than the idiotic libertarian, or is it libertarian with a small l, plagiarism. So his first argument is that saying something is true is made untrue or can be argued against based on the origins of the statement or what the statement sounds like. Um, (laughs) So this is... yeah, it is. Obviously, I'm doing a video on it or a podcast, so I guess it is worth addressing, um, even though it is incredibly stupid. Um, so what is some popular uh, saying? Like, uh, uh, let's, let's take a penny saved is a penny earned. And if I said then, I heard that and I went, oh, that's a cool phrase. And then I coined the saying, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. And then later somebody wanted to argue against me and they said, well, you stole that idea or that, that comment from the, the people who said it with a penny instead of a dollar. Therefore it's untrue when you say it. No, that's obviously irrational, which went against what I was asking for. I was asking for an, a rational argument. So, so far the question has not been asked rationally. Maybe in a second argument though, it will be. Second argument I would like to make is that you are not required to pay taxes. You are perfectly welcome to move to a country that has no taxes and live there. Nobody is stopping you and nobody here is stealing from you. I think he assumes I'm a U.S. government resident. He happens to be right. That's an interesting assumption. Um, Or maybe he's not in the United States. Maybe he thinks I'm a Swiss person and he's in Switzerland also. I don't know. Um, That argument is horrible, right? Do you know why? He's saying that you're not required to hand over something that is demanded of you because you could just leave that, that whole area. So if I'm getting carjacked in Memphis, then it's not theft. Nobody is taking anything from me because I could just leave Memphis and then I wouldn't get carjacked. Well, no, if I lived in Memphis, I chose to live there. I own property there or I'm on other people's property who give me permission to be there. Then no, I'm not leaving. How about the carjacker leaves, right? Is my reasoning wrong there? Is that irrational? Or is this guy who, uh, who tried to respond irrationally, uh, is he wrong? Okay. His third argument is Disneyland, the magic kingdom, the happiest place on earth. What an amazing place. There are rides and games and restaurants and shows and a lot of other things there. Who wouldn't want to be part or who wouldn't want to be at Disneyland? I mean, it's awesome. Well, to be at Disneyland, you have to pay a price for admission. That is how they pay for those roads. Oh, sorry. I meant rides and national parks. Oh, sorry. I meant games and safe food and drug inspectors. Oh, sorry. I meant restaurants, education, information, protection, police, firefighters, EMS, the military, and rescue services, and on and on and on. All paid for by taxes. You don't want to pay the price of admission? Get the fetch, I'm assuming this guy is uh, from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, out of Disneyland. I hear Somalia is beautiful this time of year. All right, so (laughs) this little cutie pie who tried to respond is equating Disneyland to a whole big, huge hunk of land where I happened to have been born on this piece of land, uh, not trespassing on anyone else's property. I've 
I own the property that I'm currently on and so on and so forth. It's, it's not a, uh, it's not a private piece of property that I chose to go on to because I thought it would be cool. On the other hand, what it is, it is, is it is a cool place with all kinds of fun rides and entertainment and people and opportunities that happens to have been hijacked by a gang, a gang calling themselves government. And this gang says, hey, we're going to provide you with auto company bailouts and we're going to start wars to keep you safe because wars do that. Evidently, we are going to bail out banks. We are going to keep people from inventing things by having a horrible process for patenting and such. We're going to do all of these things for you. And I know you might not like them all, but trust us, we are very intelligent central central planners, and we're just going to go ahead and do that and screw you. Well, that's not cool. That is very different than Disneyland. Disneyland says, hey, look, we've got a cool place here. Do you want to come onto our property? And if you come into our property, you got to play by our rules. Cool? Cool? Okay. You're welcome on if you pay the admission fee. That's perfectly good. What is happening with the government that's currently in charge of the landmass, the government whose uh, corporate name is the United States of America, that that entity, I don't know if it's a corporation, LLC, or S Corp, C Corp, or not-for-profit. I don't know what their exact type of corporation it is or company, but it is an organization who has claimed rights on this land and doesn't own the land. So, no, um, I will get the fetch out of Disneyland if I don't want to pay, pay the price of admission or I won't go there, but I'm not going to get the fetch out of the place that I own. I'm not going to get off of my property or my neighbors who have a grocery store's property. Nope. I'm not even going to get a, a get off of the, wait, let me use his language. I'm not going to get the fetch off of the long, hard, straight things, flat things that government stole money to hire private people to build. They're called roads. I'm not even going to get the fetch off of those. Those don't belong to the government. When you steal something, it doesn't become yours. So if the government stole the money and then used the money to have something built, it's not, those aren't government roads. The government didn't build them. They stole money and hired a private person to build them. So this poor cute kid, um, he tried or she tried or Zer tried, I don't know, but failed miserably. Oh my gosh. Well, hopefully that has been entertaining for you. And, and we shouldn't make fun of people who are, are too obtuse, but yeah, it was kind of fun to uh, kind of fun to look at, at the, the lousy way somebody argued. I'd actually hoped when I posted it that s there would be somebody really smart who would have a, a new, fresh idea, not one that their college uh, social studies or whatever professor has repeated as they've been repeating for 40 years, but like a new, fresh, rational idea. But guess that didn't happen this time, huh? I hope you like this video.